Welcome back everyone to Swisher Gym as Jacksonville gets a 30 point conference win at home against Lipscomb. Roger here now joined by the head coach of the JU Dolphins, Yolette McPhee McEwen, and what a win for your basketball team, really a complete victory. Yeah, I'm extremely excited. Um, like I was telling you off air, we only missed one goal and um, we missed it by three points. We wanted to keep them to 48 points. But um, nevertheless, I was excited about our defensive effort and what we were able to do versus a Lipscomb team that is a high po powered offensive team. And two buzzer beaters, you rarely yeah. see that, but it seemed like the one at the end of the first half by Brianna really gave your team some energy going in the break. Absolutely, yeah. Bree, um, she wanted to get the shot before back because her hands weren't ready. And uh, right now, um, we're trying to develop um, a killer mentality. And so if they get an opportunity to hit a shot, I don't hold them back because we are focused on our end goal. And the only way we can get there is by just being dominant every game. Well, and you look at the third quarter as well. J.U. got off to a good start, mm -hmm. but then we started to see Lipscomb hit some shots, and there was one yeah. stretch where J.U. had a lot of turnovers. You called timeout. What was said during that break to kind of get the team on track? Yeah, we just got complacent and didn't get in our press offense, and um, we have been wor we work on our press every day. So um, I was disappointed with that, and we settled down, and I told the point guards to have more control out on the floor, and they did that. And they certainly did in the fourth quarter, outscoring Lipscomb in that quarter 25 to 12. Are you happy that even with the large lead, they were still able to grow it to eventually 30? Absolutely, because we, we can't ever get complacent. You know, we um, the game is not won until the buzzer is over. And defensively, we really, what I've been enjoying is every fourth quarter, we've been dominant. And that's ex that's important because it shows a, a, le a level of maturity with, with the squad. Brianna Brown earlier this season got to 1,000 points. She had yes. 19 a day. Mm -hmm. Next up is Sharanda Reddick yes. as she had an outstanding game as well, 16 points. She'll probably get to that 1,000-point yeah, plateau sure. on Monday. Yeah, I'm excited about Sharanda. You know, here's a local kid that came and had a dream and is getting ready to accomplish it. And Sharanda wants an A-Sun championship, so she's not going to stop until then. So now your basketball team, 2-0 to start conference play. What are the most important things you're going to take from this game to get ready towards Monday night in Kennesaw State? Um, just, you know, just continuing to play, um, you know, our style of basketball, which is defensive, high, high pressure, you know, attack offense. And, um, you know, we, this is this is a new team. This is a new year, a new team. And we've been building towards this. And I just want to keep them encouraged and, and hungry because we know what our end goal is. Well, Coach, congratulations on the 30-point win today over Lipscomb. Thank you. We'll see you on Monday night against Kennesaw State. All right. That was head coach Jolette McPhee McEwen. Well, I'm Roger Hoover. Thanks for watching on JUDolphins.com. All right. Thank you, coach. Yeah, it was great to see you again. I'll see you Monday. Uh,